August 15, 1987, a helium balloon was launched from a field three miles southeast of Findlay, Ohio, carrying on board an amateur radio payload. The two and a half pound package consisted of a 100 milliwatt two meter FM transmitter sending a Morse code beacon. Also, a one watt amateur television transmitter was included. This is a map of the distance covered by the balloon. The uh, television signal was received as far out as the shaded uh, inner circle, about 300 miles, and the 2 meter beacon was received out to 400 miles on the outer circle. This is a launch done by Kittinger in 1962 in which he took a helium balloon to the edge of space. With a 30 story high helium balloon to lift Kittinger to the edge of space. He temporarily lost the use of his right hand when a pressure glove malfunctioned. But Joe ignored the pain and rode all the way to 103,000 feet. I was as high as a balloon would go without going any higher. Stood up, said a real quick prayer, hit the button to start the cameras running and jumped overboard. In the next few minutes, Joe Kittinger set three records which still stand today. The highest parachute jump, the longest free fall, and in the near vacuum, he became the first man to go supersonic without a rocket. He was falling at 714 miles an hour. We had proven that... This is one of the things that inspired me to do my balloon launch. And in fact, I sent it up very close to the 25th anniversary of the... After the launch, the balloon was found intact in a soybean field 26 miles northwest of Findlay. Don't make an animal, you know that. Right Holy son of a god. Oh, man. <laughs> it does look like a... Black. Yeah. I did not walk around it before I picked it up. <laughs> it might be a bomb. I don't know what it was. <laughs> well, you know, you hear about so much stuff on television yeah. about bombs and everything. Yeah, for the little war too. Yeah. You know, if you pick it up and wiggle it just right, it might go boom in your hand. 